From Crema Media in Johannesburg, this is The Real Economy Report. Private aviation company Fireblade Aviation spent three years laying the foundations for it to become a sustainable private aviation business, having been founded originally as a flight department for international mining major Anglo-American. Skalkberger has a story. With the growth in international demand for aviation resources, particularly for private aviation resources over the past three to four years, Fireblade has positioned itself to become a sustainable private aviation services business. Demand is outstripping supply and creating challenges, but also plenty of opportunities for the company's aircraft owner services and air operator certificate division, its fixed base operator division and its maintenance, repair and overhaul division. Fireblade Aviation MD Lee Kretschmar provides insight into the company's strategy. We've moved from a business that was originally established to support the needs of our founding members. But as we've seen private aviation grow internationally um, and the demand for private aviation grow internationally, we've realized that these uh, services and these skills can be provided to so many more people within the private aviation industry. So whether that's aircraft owners, whether that's business travelers, whether that's the tourism, um, there's definitely this growing demand for how private aviation can support that. And I think the key for us and why we think it's so important is that private aviation is ultimately one of the key links needed for our, our economy to grow, right? So in order for um, these lodges to receive their passengers, they need a private aircraft to take them there. For um, business travelers to get to these difficult remote locations, whether that's in the mines, in the DRC, they need private aviation to get there. So we are here to be able to serve that more and more as that demand grows. We're standing now in our maintenance repair organization and our maintenance repair organization was essentially founded to maintain our own aircraft. And in maintaining our own aircraft, obviously because we fly in it ourselves, there's a, a high level of care and diligence that, we've, that has been so embedded in our organization. And I definitely see as private aviation grows, that means aircraft are flying more, means they need more and more maintenance. So there's a growing demand for, the, for maintenance skills. And I believe that our engineers are best placed to provide that. Um, our FBO is a, um, essentially it's the connection from people getting out of their cars or actually getting to a building to be able to get on an aircraft. And as, as um, generally within, um, people want more of an experience, you know, so whether when you're flying on an aircraft, it's not simply about the journey, it's about the lead up to that journey. And our FBO is able to offer that. We're um, a unique FBO, a beautiful building with passionate um, staff who are there to serve um, and ultimately best place at ORT to be this gateway into Africa. That's Crema Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy. And don't forget to listen to the audio version of our engineering news daily email newsletter.